Welcome back. Just to let you know, uh, First Dot Shop, we are still uh, running on 20% off until Friday. Check it out, First Dot Shop. Thanks to Antoine, he printed this wonderful puzzle for us today. I've been sent this puzzle nonstop through Instagram. You've been DMing me and on Twitter and everything else. And I admit, I was a little intrigued. So intrigued that I asked Antoine to 3D print one. He happened to have a 3D printer and he's been wanting to toy around with it. So what a perfect opportunity. Uh, it looks like a really cool puzzle. It's got all these shapes and numbers, as you can see. They fit together so, so satisfyingly. Look at that. And all of this fits into this tray. I'll leave the link below where you guys can download this file. You can make it for yourself. But this looks really interesting. It reminds me a lot of the Uasaga series that we did with the Jigsaw 29, the Ice 9 puzzle, and all of those. Uh, so thank you, Antoine. And also, also, am I having a stroke? Without any further ado, let's get into solving this puzzle. How cool is this? Honestly, so cool. Uh, it's kind of the first, first 3D puzzle, 3D printed puzzle, self 3D printed puzzle we've ever done. Thanks to Antoine and his puzzle printing skills. So one thing that I'm kind of asking myself, oh, let's start this timer here. One thing that I'm kind of asking myself about this puzzle is if, uh, because there are, the way that it's printed, there is like a shiny side and there's like a matte side, right? So I'm wondering if the orientation is important here. For instance, uh, maybe not the eight, but like, like would, it, would we be able to do shiny side, matte side? Or probably, yeah, probably all shiny side, I'm guessing. That's what we'll start with anyways. I have no idea how hard this is going to be. It looks extremely difficult. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure if there are more than one solutions to this, so we'll just uh, give it a go. Looks like a lot of fun though. So how does, so how does that fill in here? How does something like that feel? All right, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Something like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, shiny sides, shiny sides only. Like how cool is that? But now, see that doesn't work here. Cause there's nothing I can put there. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Because um, Antoine printed this uh, the tray, we had a tray that fit exactly, but it was too tight for the pieces. So he made one, this one's a bit loose for all the pieces. So it doesn't fit quite, you know, perfectly. It's looser than it should be, but I think that's still fine. How does that work? One, two, three. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that one work, huh? Okay, so something like this. Oh, okay, so that's not too bad. That's a pretty good fit. That doesn't work. Hmm. I think as soon as we find one that fits sort of perfectly, like that's kind of cool, isn't it? Would that work? So I don't know if that would work because you know what I mean? It doesn't have that. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. That, I mean, that looks great to me. Boom. Oh my gosh, that's a perfect fit. That's gotta be it. It has to be it. This one's gonna be kind of tough. Oh, unless I can, oh, boom. Look at that, okay. Ooh. That's pretty close. Huh. That, I mean, that has to be it. Oh, that can go like that as well, okay. Like that has to be it. That has to be, it. there's not one space um, missing up here. So I'm fairly confident that that is part of the solution here. This as well, up to now, there are no, I don't understand how, how this can be the solution. 
Okay, this has to go in the middle then somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Backwards. Just keep it all on the same side. Hmm. This makes sense though, that that would be in the middle, I feel. So close. You think we have to fill up the entire square? Maybe that's the thing, maybe. Oh, maybe the three goes here. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. This makes way more sense. Let's find a way where we can, here we go. That's good. We wanna fill up all the squares here. Boom, see how they're all filled up now? Except for that one here. So that one's there. We would need another one here, maybe something like that. Hmm. <laughs> so close. Um, I mean, I'm guessing the solution is gonna have to look like the top part here and not just be fit in randomly. That's definitely good. So is that, unless it's this and that, that. I feel like that's the best thing here. That has to fill up too somehow here and here. You see how if I do that, the triangle, compared to the size of that triangle. So I feel like we have to keep maintaining that smaller triangle to maximize the amount of space. So that might just be, um, might just be like a warning, like, hey, you are not, you were using too much room. Do you know what I mean? It's like, that would be good, but then here, what if it was this way? Uh, there we go. See, all these little triangles do the same thing over here, which is perfect. So what we would need, do we have another one that can do that for us? Maybe the seven on, seven would definitely not work. Seems like that's the only one that would do exactly what we need. What if the top part's wrong? That would really mess me up emotionally, I feel, at this point. Oh, well, what if, right? Mm, I feel like I'm not maximizing space, though. Yeah. Maybe we restart. These two are actually the same. This is like, was this two and five and six and nine? So those would fit together no matter what. Um, should they though? I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter if you think about it logically. The fact that these are making up a perfect line using four pieces. What's the, uh, what's the alternative here? That we take one of these out, we replace them with something else. Let's say a four here. I mean, we're losing space. So technically these are taking up the minimum amount of space that you could with four pieces. Well, not necessarily because they're smaller pieces, but they're not taking any extra room. Would there be a situation where if I were to replace this with something else, it would allow me to later save some room, but also save some room at the top, just like I did. So for instance, let's say, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's really hard to say because that's just, there's nothing else that's going to fit so perfectly. Maybe there is, I don't know. I don't feel like if I replace this with something else, it'll help me. I feel like it'll hurt me. There's this looming feeling that this, that me not changing my mind is going to actually, is actively hurting me right now. <laughs> I don't know. In order for this pattern to continue, we have to use these jagged pieces here. We cannot do that unless we do that. Because if we do that, then this still fits. 
but this does not. So then we're compromising here. So therefore we have to use the jagged pieces to fit into these slots and then do this, but now we're kind of compromising here and this doesn't stand up. Catch my drift. I'm pretty sure this is not a space down here. Why would it fit like that though? Why wouldn't it fit perfectly? I feel like it should fit perfectly. The space in between is allowing it to fit. There's no other space in between. Maybe if I go here. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh man, so close I feel. The only pieces that uh, fit inside the zero here would be the one or the seven. So we know that. The one looks like a good candidate. I like that thing. Unless this goes here. Even that looks pretty good right there. It's so good though. This is interesting. Sorry about that, my camera stopped recording at uh, 28 minutes. So there's nothing, you didn't miss much in the last five minutes. Basically I was just, I took all the pieces out and I realized that there's no other way that this could fit together. The only piece that would fit is this. This, these, this is like the perfect fit. Whether this needs to be oriented this way or that way, that's something I've yet to find out. I know that I can place this here and make a very nice spread However, on the bottom part here, then I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, left with uh, with these odd pieces that don't necessarily fit anywhere, and I can't I can't get anything done. So so far so good, but then yeah, stuck over here. Hmm. Technically, <laughs> it doesn't fit. I don't know. It's a very difficult puzzle. In something like that, right? So that would have to be like that, and maybe then no. in something like this, maybe that then would have to live on the side here. It would need to be like this to save room. This would need to be here. Unless this goes here, like this, right? Um, we're definitely not saving any room here. Okay. That doesn't work. That's interesting, but a lot of room wasted here. I feel like the solution's just staring at me. You know what I mean? And I'm just dancing around it. What if it's some something really sneaky, you know? Like a diagonal move or something. That That's cool that they both have that, but it's also... Yeah, it's also losing so losing a lot of space by doing that. So how do I get up in here? I guess maybe something like this. That's actually quite nice. I like that quite a bit. Here, see there's nothing, even if I were to do that, there's nothing that fits over there. Uh, that is actually quite nice though. Okay. What if, well, that's interesting. If I can create the same, yeah, that work actually works out. Ooh, hello. No, no, I need a square here.
Bam. There it is. More than once. Is that? Is this even right? I mean, it all fits. I feel like this piece here. I feel like this piece isn't right, but it has to be. That's cool. How cool is that? Whoever designed this, 10 on 10. I mean, this is probably one of the funnest jigsaw type puzzles that I've solved because of uh, the geometry of it. I think it's really cool. And the fact that you can just print this yourself if you have a 3D printer um, is really cool as well. So I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the link where I got the file to this below. You guys can check it out. And uh, this is right up there with like Yuasaka's puzzle, the uh, jigsaw 29 and the, the wave puzzles. This is right up there with that. So very sick. Hot. This is definitely one of my favorite puzzles uh, in terms of jigsaw puzzles. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing with the gray and the orange. Got that, got that kind of like future, future vibe to it. I really like. If you did enjoy this video and this puzzle, leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new here. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh, sure.